Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quick set up the lock on target on any of the characters that you make with the animal controller. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do it with the wolf that I provide inside the package. So let's go to Malverse Animation Tools, Malverse Animations, and let's create a test scene. Right here, I disable the icon so you don't have trouble seeing the the animals. And I'm going to remove Steve because I'm going to use the wolf light. In this case, I already have by default set the lock on target feature on the wolves, so I'm going to remove it and make it from scratch. So let's remove it. What we need is to use the lock on target feature so since i already have a prefab that might help you let's start with that so search on the project bar lock on target and you will find several prefabs the first one we need to use is the cine machine lock on target built virtual camera so let's drag this along with the Cinemachine Brain and the main free look at camera. Next, we will need the lock on target prefab and let's drag it inside the hierarchy of your character. I like to set it here on the internal components and you will see here that I already have set some components that we need for the lock on target feature. We need a sphere collider that will be a trigger that will catch all the possible targets that we can lock on. Next, we have the lock on target component that needs a name component that usually the animals have it with the look at target. So here it is. Let's use it on the lock on target next we have the lock on targets room time set this, this will be a list of targets that will be saved at room time that you can swap on you will see it in a minute next we have a trigger proxy that will be used with this sphere collider this trigger proxy will catch every collider that enters that has any of these layers. Let's use only item layer. And it has a target set at stack. You can remove this, but I, I like to have another filter for my targets. And next we have a mouse scroll component that if we have a locking target i will enable this this component if we do not have a locking target it will be disabled and this will allow me to scroll with the mouse wheel up or down to change to the next targets now how let's create first some targets let's create a sphere I'm going to add a gold material to make it look better. And I'm going to change the layer to item and I'm going to add a tax component. And this will have a target tag. This will be a valid target for the lock on features. Let's add a few of them right outside this trigger that you will see is represented with a sphere gizmo which is this component right here you can change the color and it should change but it's not changing oh right there okay there, there it is let's 
try this that one right here now what else do we need no we don't need anything else let's try it so if i hit play and i go to the walls near those balls and i click tap nothing will happen because we didn't assign an input to the target to the lock on target so we go here on the wolf or on your animal here i already have this one right here so let's remove it let's add a lock input i'm going to use the tab key and i'm going to use it when i press down so if i press down i'm going to i'm dragging this lock on target so find the lock on target component and i'm going to lock target toggle that way if i press tab i lock on any target and i in a and if i press tab again it will reset the lock on so let's try this one more time if i go near and i press tab you will see that it locks onto this target let me disable the inspector so we can see better and if i press scroll wheel up i can switch between all those targets here and if i go far away the lock on will reset let me go again near the spheres and you will see on the lock on target if i go to this list i have all these spheres that are being saved on this list by the trigger proxy you can see on the events on game enter i'm going to add all the game objects that enter and on game exit i'm going to remove it you can debug a little further and see here all the colliders entering all the trigger targets all the game objects that are safe for example if i hit tap again i'm going to focus on this one right here but if i remove this sphere he will find the next target if i remove all the spheres the lock on will be set to reset or false now what else we can do we can add some ui to identify which of the targets are being selected so let's go to add a canvas canvas and here if you type again on the search bar from the project lock on you will see i already have a lock on target ui and if i drag it here you will see that i'm using a transform bar and this bar will save at runtime which game object is being locked on so let me try it again you will see set to known at runtime and if i go near the spheres and i press tab you can see the the ui due to the skybox but let me change it to another skybox and you will see it here that this lock target is saving the sphere that is aimed if i scroll you will see that we have a new ui if i hit tap it will disappear Perfect. That is how you can set a lock on feature on any of your animals. You only need to drag the prefab that I provide and have a name component. Link the input to the lock on target toggle and have some targets on your scene. And that's it. That is how you can create lock on targets on your game.
Perfect.